social class in ancient Egypt. Uh, ancient Egypt. One, one of the ancient civilization of the world is ancient civil, ancient Egypt civilization. Here is students, uh, ancient world civilization, when you say there are those civilizations which are considered as a pioneers of the world civilization. For example, one of the ancient civilizations in the world was ancient Egypt civilization. It precedes and is before the Kush civilization. It's before Kush civilization. Kush civilization is somewhat a copy of Egypt civilization, somewhat, somewhat a copy of or else, um, or else. We might have a spiritual. But there are other civilizations. There are other civilizations which. Okay, uh, ancient civilization. Most of all the ancient civilizations are along the river valleys. Around the river valleys, the river along the river valleys. When you say around the river, is there is a fertile land, and people can get water easily from the river, and also people can conduct their agricultural activity. Agricultural, their agriculture. So life is good around the river. After some times the population become larger and larger and larger so urbanization is started those are urban, when urbanization started it's become it's uh, can help to bring civilization of a given area so most of the world civilizations were around the river valleys uh, the civilization of ancient Egypt was started before 3000 it means that 550, about 500 years ago. What? About 5000 years ago. Yeah, so it's ancient civilization. It's ancient civilization. Yeah, it was along the river valley of Nile. Along the river valley of Nile. Egypt, Egyptians they consider themselves Egypt's civilization. Egypt is a gift of Nile. If there is no Nile, there is no, there is no Egypt because Egypt is located around the desert area. Yes. I thought the Greeks said that the Egypt is a gift. Yeah, the the Greeks say about when they talk about Egypt. When they talk about Egypt, in the Greek writings or in the Greek writings, yeah? Italian civilization is also long, but it's not as early as Egypt. I don't. I'm not sure if the mind in Mexico. Uh, we will learn when we reach the end. Nagish, three. Okay, social class in ancient Egypt, there are three social classes. Three social classes. The upper, the upper, the middle, and the lower. The upper class composed of, okay. Yeah, the monarch or the nobles or the kings and the rich land owners are considered as the upper class. Okay. The middle are considered as peasants. Yeah, it's not in ancient Egypt, it's in Rome. Okay. 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 Maybe the advisors, like the workers. The workers uh, in general, uh, you have the textbook, guys. Uh, Merchants, uh, 
And the people who write the rules not to the mirrors, no. The people like the Florence means of food. I don't know, is it terrible anyway? Skilled workers, craftsmen, all are considered as second class. The lower class, as you all know that, slaves and poor farmers, farmers, farmers were considered as uh, a third class. And also they live in a mud hut, in a mud hut here in Ethiopia also, they stay uh, until this day there are people who are living in a mud hut. And the economic activity of the ancient Egypt was made upon economic activity of Egypt. What was the economic activity of the ancient Egypt? What do they do? What do they do just for their living? Agriculture. Agriculture. Agriculture and we are fishing along the Mediterranean River and the Nile River and trade. Trade. The two activities were the main economic activity of the ancient Egypt. So, uh, since there was no and there is no rain for in Egypt, they are depending on irrigation. You know irrigation, right? Yeah. yeah. Irrigation. Is there economy? Activity is based upon irrigation. Uh, what we call ancient Egyptian rulers. What was the name given to the ancient Egyptian rulers? Pharaohs. Look, ancient Egyptian rulers were known as pharaohs, and also they were powerful, and they were considered as representative for. God. Hmm? They were considered as representative on earth of God. And uh, uh, who can tell me how do they preserve the dead body of the kings or the pharaohs and the nobles? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's called mummification. Oh, it was called mummification. And uh, they wrapped their bodies uh, with a fabric, I think, and then they put them in tombs. Yeah, they and put in tombs, and the tombs are called also what do we call the tombs? Uh, I don't know what to do. They preserve what to go happen to that. Yeah, for the child. Yeah, and, so what we and uh, it takes. Uh, it stays for long, it's been preserved for a long time, about four five thousand years. Four five five thousand years. So uh, it was a great civilization and also its findings were or its contributions to, to the world uh, were a lot and uh, the process of preserving the dead body is called mummification and they have their own writing system. Yeah. What do we call the writing system of the ancient Egypt? Hieroglyphics. So uh, this was the hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics, sorry. Hieroglyphics was uh, their finding, they know how to calculate the times and the dates. These are the things about ancient Egypt and equation and clear idea maybe. Okay. Uh, there are many things. It's believed that the ancient Egypt's pharaohs were black. Black. So uh, the ancient Egypt civilization is native. Yeah? No, I think that uh, they don't want to be the exact date of and time, right? The exact date of and time. Oh. They know, they, they know that the one year is 365 
and the part of the same thing. Let's see if she knows how to calculate or they divide the current. The Egyptian 